Howdy folks, welcome back. We just set a record here in Northern Illinois for the latest recorded snowfall. And to celebrate, Mother Nature has done an about face and she's currently making up for some lost time. As a result, these plow trucks are breaking faster than I can put them back together. This is a Western snowplow. It belongs to the same guy who owned or owns the last Western snowplow we worked on. This one, I guess, is a, a backup truck or something. They don't, I guess they don't use it. Anyway, at some point, it had an electrical problem and they took it to another local shop and they chose to give it the old snipperoo. The owner literally handed this to me and said, good luck, Wes, and he walked away. So it seems like a real soup sandwich of a job. Let's get into it. Yeah, so this one's a pretty simple plow. It just has up and down and angle left and right. So the harness that they chopped off goes right here between the truck and the plow. So the, the high amperage plug is still there for the pump, but all the controls as well as the lights run through this connector. And we've got some We've got some green crustiness there, so I would imagine that's why they gave it, they gave it the chop job here. Anyway, I guess maybe the thing to do would be to pop the cover off the solenoids there and just see, see if we can make everything work and then maybe try to test, I don't know, try to test these wires here. I'm sure there's something we're not gonna like underneath this green tape. Uh, but it looks like we've got some parts. Ay, ay, ay. I like the uh, custom control panel here. But he brought me a whole wiring harness off of another plow. So maybe we can just rip and tear and uh, just swap the whole harness over. I don't know. Now this one's had some chopping as well. I don't know. Anyway, we'll figure something out. <laughs> yeah, that happened. So the wires look pretty good underneath that tape. I just temporarily spliced them together with some wire nuts. The colors, they more or less match up. I don't know if they're supposed to be matched up on both sides of the plug, but it, Seems like a good place to start. So let's uh, let's see if anything works or if we blow a bunch of fuses or, or melt something or whatever. And if it works, we'll try to make this a little more permanent. We got lights in the cab. Seems to work. What about the lights? Negative. Even the truck lights don't work. Tail lights don't work. Yeah, we got nothing on lights. Okay, let's try the turn signals. That works. And that works. Okay, so we've got turn signals, we've got all four plow functions, but we have no, no headlights and no marker lights anywhere on the truck. So we probably blew a fuse somewhere. Let's figure that out. Well, according to the wiring diagram, with the headlight switch on, we should have power here, both sides. That supplies the switch. And then we should have power here, which we do not, and here which we do not. So it's got power to the switch, but nothing's coming out of the switch, on the, the switch on the dash, I mean. Yeah, so that's fun. Look at this quaint device. Manual windows, crazy. Uh. Yeah, this is the switch for the headlights. And uh, 
Does anyone see a problem here? Like, maybe there should be a wiring harness plugged in here. I don't even know where it is. Oh, there it is. Incredible. So how long have they been driving this truck with no headlights? Look at that. <laughs> yeah. Works a lot better when the switch is plugged in. Unbelievable. All right, folks, here's where we're at. It, it's kind of a mess, obviously. I, I talked to the customer. He said, this is a backup truck. They don't drive it on the road. It doesn't have license plates on it or anything like that. They just use it on their property. And he had some work done to it at some point in the past, but he couldn't really remember what that was. He did not know the headlight switch was unplugged. He didn't know who did that or why. He took it to another shop here in town. Uh, he couldn't remember why. They chopped off the connector and he couldn't remember why other than it had that one brown wire that was all green and crusty. Uh, I don't know why they didn't replace the connector. I know for sure that the same shop did the same thing to his other truck, that red Dodge we put the oil pan in. They chopped the connector off of that one too. Uh, but they fixed it. They put another one on it for him. I don't know why they didn't fix this one. Doesn't matter, I guess. Yeah, he gave me the famous last words. He said, do whatever you got to do to get it to get it working. I guess one of his other trucks, the transmission went out of it. So they're down a truck and he wants to put the plates on this truck and use it for the big uh, death storm that's coming here tonight or tomorrow night, or whatever night. Anyway, there's the connector that I think was on the truck originally. Uh, the brown wire is corroded all the way right down to the, to the back side of the crimp. I cannot save it. I cut all the rubber off of it, but there's, there's no way to save that connector. This side of it, the male side of it, is fine. So we could use that. I have another harness here off of another plow. And it's kind of a similar shape, but this connector is not the same at all. And it, it actually doesn't have enough wires. There's only seven wires in this connector. And we've got nine wires that we need to splice together. So we have to get a new connector. And it, you can buy them. Western sells a repair kit, or there's some aftermarket ones available too. Uh, but unfortunately, today is New Year's Eve. It's about 11 o'clock and the western snowplow dealership is closed so i couldn't even ask them if they had the parts in stock even if they did we couldn't get our hands on them before this big storm comes through so what we're going to do is we'll pull off the wire nuts and we'll install some bullet connectors and we'll just match the wires up by color i don't have enough bullet connectors though to do everything i've only got seven so we'll have to also use some of these quick disconnect terminals. I think I've got enough stuff here. We can bodge that together. That way they can take the plow off if they need to. And then, you know, once they get through this big storm, possibly we can fix it the right way. Uh, if you can't tell, these guys are pretty big on maintenance. So I'm sure they'll bring it back to me right away to fix it up properly. Anyway, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna bodge it together and get them through this storm. And then, uh, yeah, we'll probably never see it again.
What's weird is that I have nine of these female bullet connectors, but I only have seven of the males. It's almost like somebody stole two of the male connectors and didn't replace them. Possibly to fix a Kawasaki Bayou ATV. There we go. Well, there it is. I'm pretty sure everything I just recorded was out of frame. So, yeah. Guess we're done. Just remember, it's only temporary. Unless it works. Here we go. Beautiful. Well, it should be right, left, down, up. All right, folks, that's it. Thanks for watching and happy new year's to everybody. It's hard to believe it's 2022 already. Uh, we're done with this junker for now or more likely forever. I'm going to put it back outside. We'll let Max run the road inside of it. And based on the amount of chewed up newspaper, there should be plenty to choose from. You guys got to hear this. The exhaust manifolds are rotted right off this thing. Like every two valve, five four. Oh yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching everybody. Stay safe in the big snowstorm that's coming. Yeah.